What's up y'all, it's your girl saying, and today I'm gonna be reacting to a video from Ben Shapiro titled, No Tears Shed Over Ethan Klein's YouTube Suspension. I, I don't blame you, Ben, I don't blame you. For those that don't know, over the weekend, well, Friday, well, you know what, Friday or Saturday, weekend, we just gonna call it the weekend. Um, Ethan Klein on his podcast, he came out and said, if another hollow was to happen to the Jews, he would want Ben to get gassed first. Which is messed up. It's supremely messed up, first and foremost. Um, he claims he was just joking, because, like, Ethan's Jewish too. First off, what a weird joke to say as a Jew to another Jew. I don't believe that was a joke. I believe that's your true feelings because you don't like Ben. So it is what it is. As somebody who grew up Jewish and I got Jewish family, that's not a joke, bro. And if you still want to run with that narrative, bad joke, you deserve to get suspended. And then also in that same podcast, they doxed somebody and it turned out they doxed the wrong person, which makes it a, a bad situation worse. Like, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. What Ethan ended up doing, then he went on Twitter complaining. Ah, they they complained about me and canceled me. I can't believe them. But yet he's big on um, celebrating the deplatforming deplat of like other content creators. So that's weird. Then he also said that white supremacists were championing for him to be um, banned off of YouTube, which doesn't make any sense because with the comment you made, a white supremacist will be right there with you saying, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get him and you. So that didn't make any sense. Um, he just didn't wanna take accountability for his horrible choice of words and lack of joke. So um, Ben already stated that he doesn't care. Like he didn't care to have the dude banned, but he's also not gonna shed tears over it. But Let's watch this. This is a four minute clip. Let's see what he truly has to say now that he's not speaking on it on Twitter. And there is, uh, as we mentioned yesterday on the show, a YouTuber who I frankly had been unfamiliar with named Ethan Klein. And on his show, he suggested that he was joking. He said that uh, if there was another Holocaust, I should be gassed first. Um, which is not a wonderful thing to say. As I said on the show yesterday, it's I would hope up. that in another Holocaust, he and his family escape because I'm not a terrible person. Um, but he said this, and then apparently the video was deleted from YouTube. Of course, and now it was. he's whining about it. He's he's very very upset about it. He said it was just a joke. It's mean. He says the joke I was suspended for simply points out that Ben, who is desperate to be accepted by his Christian nationalist friends as white, will only ever be seen by them as a useful idiot, and sadly for him, a Jew. Uh, um, guys, I'm pretty sure that the people who like the show and listen to my stuff know I'm a Jew. Not exactly hiding it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that they see me as a Jew because I'm a Jew. Yeah. Like, he never hid the fact that he was a Jew. He wears his yarmulke all the time. Like, <laughs> Ethan is so stupid, man. I've never seen such a crazier fall from, well, you know what, I have. There's been a lot of YouTube personalities where they've just been around for so long. You know the saying, we either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Ethan, amongst many other YouTube creators, have like hit that hit that point in their career where they are just like the villain now. It is insane, the the crazy drop off for a lot of them. You can tell by the funny hat on my head that I wear literally every day since my childhood. But Ethan Klein being not a very good person and uh, and a, a tacit excuse maker for genocidal terror groups like Hamas, uh, he is, uh, he, he's trying to claim that he is the real fighter against anti-Semitism he says he is constantly excusing, enabling, and, and platforming real anti-Semitism. This is coming from a guy who literally put out a post last year making excuses for, again, genocidal terror group Hamas. Okay, so what does this mean? Should Ethan Klein lose his video on YouTube? No. In principle, he should not. I'm very much in favor of the idea that platforms should be extremely loose about what they allow on their, on their platforms. If, if these platforms proclaim that they are for free speech, they shouldn't be removing videos, even videos that I find to be gross and or despicable. I will add one proviso. If you are, as Ethan Klein appears to be, a person who revels in the cancellation of others, I will shed zero tears for you and you deserve everything you have coming. Yeah. He's been very big on like, anybody that gets canceled in deplatform, he's been celebrating it. 
honestly. And it's just like, bro, that's such a weird thing to celebrate because at some point your dirty laundry is going to be aired out for everyone to see. And then you're going to get mad if you get canceled and deplatformed. So, which is what's happening right now. And he was whining like a baby on Twitter, which <laughs> was hilarious. Ethan Klein in 2022, as in earlier this year, tweeted out, quote, years ago, I interviewed Jordan Peterson before I was very familiar with his politics. He was an interesting guest who I enjoyed sitting with. But especially now, I can see he's a dangerous gateway to the all right transphobia and COVID misinfo. I removed both interviews today. Jordan responded at the time, quote, I should warn you that those who engage in cancel culture generally live to regret it. I'm not going to come after you except politely in this Twitter stream, but the chickens will definitely come home to roost. So and they now did. Ethan Klein is did. crying salty tears over his YouTube video being, by the way, I never called for his YouTube video to be removed, right? I, I, I never said that. In fact, I don't think it should be removed, but we all play by the same rules around here. Mm -hmm. And if this is the game that you choose to play, play stupid games, win stupid prizes, you deserve everything you have coming to you. I'm not gonna stand in the way of the cancel culture mob when you have fed that mob and incentivized that mob and been a member of that mob. Mm -hmm. Ethan Klein tweeted out in teary rage, they are currently the greatest beneficiaries of cancel culture, identity politics, and moral outrage. It's incredible. They have become the party of free speech while decrying and lobbying from ID platforming. They both condemn and defend cancel culture in the same breath. Um, do you own a mirror? Do you? I will refrain from any comments about the appearance of the person who ought to own a mirror here. So well done there. Again, this, this happens all the time, unfortunately, for the left. They're constantly engaging in the cancellation of others, people who are well within the political mainstream. And then... When the cancel culture mob comes for them, they start whining about it. Oh my God, it's such a... Or alternatively, they start, to, they start to bow and cower before the mob. Well, I really had it coming. This is the Seth Rogen strategy. The Seth Rogen strategy is all those jokes that I told 10 years ago, instead of defending them and taking the hit, I'm just going to say, they're, I'll cancel myself. I'll cancel myself. Cowardice at the highest levels. Now, one standard for everyone. That is the way that all of this should work. So also, it's kind of funny how like, the level of complaining he did. Um, I think Destiny and Hassan, I think, and somebody else said he only is banned for like a week. So like, bro, get over it, enjoy your week vacation, and you're like right back to doing podcast videos, whatever it is you do, because I don't watch this content anymore. So it's like, get over yourself, dude. Enjoy your week vacay. There'll be no tears shed for Ethan Klein's temporary suspension from YouTube on this end even though I believe that he should not be suspended for comments like the one that he made. All righty, guys, the rest of the show is continuing right now. You're not going to want to miss it. We'll be getting into why Liz... Okay, and then he's about to... Daily Wire Plus, you know, you got to be a member to see see the good stuff of their podcast. You can, we don't get the juicy stuff on YouTube no more. But that was basically it. Like, Ethan Klein, he's just one of those people where it's like, ha, 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 look at you, and then do us whatever you want, and then the, it comes to bite him in the butt. He's like, huh, huh. I can't believe that happened. All of a sudden, he got the shock Pikachu face going on. It's like, bro, get over it. Like I said, enjoy your one week vacay, right? You're going to be down for a week. Sucks for your employees, but then again, it sounded like your employees also engaged in the whole doxing thing. So you all need to like get it together and figure it out while you're off for this week. But that's about it. If you guys want to see me react to more content and news just like this one, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss when I drop a video. If I have to miss a day, if I have to miss a time, if anything happens, emergencies, whatever, only way I can update y'all at this moment in time is through my social media. So if you're not following me over there, make sure to uh, hit the links in the description box down below and give me a follow. And until next time, you already know who it is. It's saying.